Today I'm going to talk about a little, little intro on AdWords. And uh, Google AdWords can be a little bit complex, but uh, one of the things you can have absolute control over is your monthly budget. And that's actually one of the first things people ask me. Like a lot of people ask what keywords to use, what uh, negative keywords. They ask a lot of different things, but budget is, also, is probably the first thing people try to figure out. So today we're going to talk about budget. Um, I've got some stuff written on here. We'll go over that in a second. Um, but before we go into like the technical aspect of setting your budget, uh, I want to talk about why it's important to have a sufficient budget. So um, if you're the one thing you know is if your budget runs out in a day, your ad's going to stop showing. So it, let's say you're only budgeted for two clicks. That means if two people click on your ad in the morning um, at 9 a.m., one person clicks, 10 a.m., someone clicks, that means at, after that, you're going to be missing on business for the rest of the day. And we don't, want it, we don't want that to happen. So that's why I want to make sure we have a sufficient budget. Um, now, the other thing I want to mention is Monday is usually your busiest day. So when we're setting up a budget, we also want to think of what your busiest day is going to be to have a sufficient budget for that, for that day. Now, to, let's talk about um, the formula for coming up with your monthly budget. People will usually say, I don't want to spend more than $500 or more than $1,000 a month which I'll say is their, their monthly budget. So the formula that what Google actually uses um, to determine how much you spend is a daily budget. So I'm going to take, if you tell me you don't want to spend more than $1,000, I'm going to take $1,000. I'm going to take that, divide by 30.4. And that's going to give me your daily budget, how much you're going to spend each day. And your daily budget is the amount that Google will never exceed in a given day. So, if, so you're never going to exceed your daily budget. If your daily budget, if you spend 500 bucks, your daily budget is $16.44. And that would mean on a given day, you will never spend more than $16.44. Google will spend up to 120% of your daily budget um, just to make up for days that you don't have quite as much traffic. But in general, just look at it, think of it as Google will not spend more than your daily budget. All right. So now let's, um, let's kind of use a real life example, assuming um, we're trying to get the maximum traffic in your area. You want to get the most number of property owners in your area. Um, and let's, let's just talk about Monday, your busiest day, um, that we're talking about having, the most budget, having a sufficient budget for your busiest day. And let's say on your busiest day, on, on average, you get up to six, click, six clicks. Some days you might get seven or eight. Some days you get three or four. But let's say the average is six clicks every Monday. And then let's say your average cost per click you know, is $4 per click. Then if we, take, if we just do the simple math, we take six clicks times an average of $4 a day, $4 per click, that comes out to $24 daily budget. And so that, we're, that's, gonna say, that's gonna mean that we're gonna, we, we need to make sure that we have a budget sufficient to cover $24 every single Monday. So we're gonna take $24 and we're gonna take that, multiply it by 30.4 which is the average number of days in a month, and that's, that's the formula that Google uses. 24 times 30.4, that comes out to a monthly budget of $729.60. So what that just means is, if you want to make sure you capture all the traffic, all the opportunities in your market in a given month, you want to, you want to be willing to spend 720, up spending this much or more. And the other thing, just one other thing I want to point out is, you know, some people will say, well, I don't want to spend that much. I only want to spend $500. The important thing to know is that we're budgeting for your busiest day of the month, Monday. Generally, it's gonna, your, the traffic will taper off. Tuesday's going to be slower, Wednesday's going to be slower, and the weekend's even slower. So you may only get one click um, or two clicks on Wednesday. And Saturday and Sunday, you may only get a combined one click. So we're talking about, Monday you'll spend $24 and you may only spend $60 for the rest of the week. And then we, so we look at it, you may end up only spending $400. But what this means is that you're having a sufficient budget for your busiest day. That's what this means. Um, so hopefully that kind of gives you an idea how to set your, your budget just to start off. Once you, you know, this is an estimate, once you run it for a month, that's usually good enough to determine a trend and a baseline. And you can always adjust your budget from there. But this is a great way to start.
if you have any questions or you know of negative keywords and you know writing your ad copy of all that stuff seems kind of confusing um, you know we're here to help so feel free to give us a call Wait, are you gonna, are you gonna introduce me though uh, or, or do I just talk start talking uh, I'll introduce you okay now uh, stepping on for this week's installment of the four and a half blog we have Darren from Avid. awesome